Hello. I am beyond frustrated with my YouTubes. It's not letting me upload. So I'm just going to do a live video of my video because I've done this before. So I'm just inviting people. What I'm going to do is I'm trying I'm trying to be smarter than the stupid blocks here. So I am doing this live and then after I will try to download it from Facebook to my computer. Hi. Hey, Abby. Oh my God. I love your videos. Keep doing them. They're so inspiring. And I'm so jealous of your, your view. Um, I don't know where you are. I'd like to know <laughs> a live video of a video. Yes. Because sometimes there's blockages and it's my full moon in Virgo. I have a moon in Virgo. So it's really hitting me um, hard at home. Um, oh, there's Miss Miyagi. Boop, boop. Where? Montana. Okay, that would explain. I've never been there and I want to go. So we're just going to hang out and show the video. My moon is in Virgo too. Oh my God. How awesome is that? Yeah, it's definitely wrapping up a huge chapter, I feel. What's up, Nita? I miss you, cousin. We have to hang out soon. But yeah, so I can't wait to hear what you say. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so for for me, I just feel like the la it's it's wrapping up the last five years of my healing journey and how it's like opening up a portal like the 11 portal, because this is actually the third moon at 11 degrees and it's an 11 year. So it's really big for all the light workers and healers. And I've always, always since I was like 18, always saw 1103 on the clock. So I feel like that's huge. Um, just wrapping up one huge um, cycle in my life to open up a new cycle. Um, cause this is a full moon in Virgo. Uh, yes, but not all of it. There's just a lot of, um, of confounds that are contributing to, um, what is going on. You know, I, I believe that astrology is used as a tool, but also numerology, like everything, even the Bible, like your intuitions, your dreams, like I use everything because they're just tools to access something that we don't necessarily see. So it's just tapping into the spiritual realm. So um, yeah, but here is my video and just let me know if it's um, like too loud or I need to turn up the volume or something. All right, guys, enjoy. Hi, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? Well, we're building up to the full moon. We haven't had a Can full you hear moon it? since January 31st. Hi, Deb. Can you hear oh. it, you guys? So we have a lot of releasing to do. Wow. Like so many uh, good new beginnings. Perfect. So many realization so much healing as well as so many changes um it's been like a roller coaster i'm gonna make this pretty quick and pretty short so i lied let's do this. <laughs> so astrology minutes, I this is for march 1st 2018. That's tomorrow. This is the full moon in Virgo report. Okay, it's at 11 degrees. Another big master number of uh, twin flames, divine partners, like the, the you know where one begins and the other ends. 
Okay, so this one is the Leo is rising in a and it's a fixed fire, right? Uh -huh. So what's over in Leo right now? It's a North Node. Huh. What else is over there? Ceres. So pretty much this is showing you where your future is heading and what you are going to give birth to. Okay, this this is the full moon in Virgo. Virgo is a mutable earth sign. That means it's very changeable. However, it's very grounded. And I love Leo's. It's a healer, right? So it's kind of like attached to this wounded healer. I can't go back to my notes um, because I don't want to repeat myself. I'm not going to like say one that should forget anything. Okay, so the sun is in Pisces, which is opposing the moon. That's what makes a full moon, when the sun and the moon are opposing each other. Okay, and that's a mutable water. So they're both mutable energies, which is changeable. And one is grounded earth and one is emotional water. So, you know, it's like these two being combined. So the sun is conjunct Neptune as well. So that's pretty crazy where it's going to make you feel like you're kind of in a dream, right? You have Mercury and Venus conjunct as well, this communication with the, the value and, and the love and beauty of Earth. And then you have Venus and Mercury in trine with Jupiter, which is the biggest planet in our solar system that's expanding this communication and this value and the love and beauty. And then you have Ju Jupiter is quincunx to Uranus, um, meaning that there needs to be, and you're not quite sure what needs to be adjusted between these two. You have Mars and Vesta conjunct as well, which is, you know, very sexy, very fiery, and creating of some kind. You, it's a fire, it's like you know where you're going, what you want. The Mars of Fortune is the pot of gold, and that is on the DC. So, we have the full moon in the mutable Virgo. We all need those Virgo moons to do all the dirty work that no one likes to do, but someone's got to do it. Right? Everyone loves us. My moon's in Virgo. Okay? I love to help. I love to clean. I love to organize. Um, I love to nurture and heal people. Okay. So now is a good time to organize and clear out the clutter in our minds and in our homes. So clear out anything that is no longer serving your higher purpose. I wish I could get off this couch. I wish I could go to work. I wish I wanted to work. I wish I could dance. I can't do anything but just sit here. If there is something that elicits a negative feeling, get rid of it. And we need to create a new story in our mind. <laughs> the moon is in the first house this full moon. And it is a motivated one of that and yes it is very critical and judgmental and picky so be very mindful of being too overly judgmental or overly right. um nitpicky on yourself and others so kind of focus that energy on being more um nitpicky and um having that eye for detail when organizing and going through your house maybe get rid of some old clothes or old things and and old ways of thinking as well we're clearing out that old and we're making room for the new so this is a whole group of planets on the opposite side of this full moon so it's kind of saying that we've got to move towards yep the North Node in Leo, and we need to create a new story in our mind and our perceptions of the world as well as our perception of ourselves, our egos, and our masks that we wear as well. 
So it's time to look inside and ask ourselves, And ask ourselves and ask where we can take responsibilities for our own actions, decisions, and how that has reflected in our own situations and realities. Okay, so I definitely want to bring that up, what you said, Abby, for sure. It is so easy to pick ourselves apart because of that Virgo energy. And we have to seriously just let ourselves be a flawed human being that we are because we're human. And as much as we know what we're supposed to be doing or how much that we're aware of our, what we're supposed to be doing, right? And we know the energy and we know, and we still mess up. We still mess up. Uh, sometimes it's like I do these videos to rewatch it, to be my own best friend and to help myself understand things, to, to just be that friend to myself. Like sometimes you don't always take your friend's advice, you know, and it's frustrating because I have all this great advice and I take most of it, but sometimes I don't. And, and I think that's very frustrating for me and I start beating myself up. But if we beat ourselves up, then it's kind of defeating the whole purpose of what God and spirit in the universe is trying to show us. Um, you know, it's a part of the process. Um, because of the full moon being in Virgo and the sun being in Pisces, this is the ending and beginning. So this is where all the letting go and healing um, from the past and our past karmic ties and releasing that. So sometimes you have to get your hands dirty in it, you know, you have to be aware of it and see it for what it is. And then, and then remember exactly why you are who you are and why you are this, um, evolved person now. So I just want to throw that in there. Thanks for bringing that up for sure. What have we contributed to our lack? of our inner mind's reality and where are we today because of that action so just just to give you a little example it would like me trying on a dress that someone's gonna buy me and they really yeah, like it did. and they ask me if I like it and I say yes and I didn't like it and they bought it for me. Okay, now I'm stuck with the fucking dress that I don't like and that I probably won't wear and for what reason? I could have spoke up and said that I wanted the dress that I really liked regardless of whether they liked it or not their money would be going towards something that would be used and useful and they would probably rather have that, right? So that's just a little example of like not being honest and truthful with what's going on inside of our, in our mind and in our heart. Okay. So is this something that you're proud of or is this something that you're disappointed in? So where is that that you could better plan and or realize your unconscious actions in the future? And where is it that we could be honest with ourselves and others even if it hurts? Having integrity is most important. And the Virgo energy is the planner.
It sees the smaller parts and the details of things that make up the big picture. It pays attention to the details and it follows its task to the end. That would be probably a good time to see what exactly is your gift and your talent and then start developing the new skills and abilities through improving yourself and your environment and helping others improve themselves as well. So it's moving from the wounded healer to healing yourself through other, not just healing other and forgetting about yourself. So we need to focus and strengthen ourselves as well, right? We definitely want to stay away from being too controlling or nitpicky or obsessive compul compulsive or perfectionistic or the other side of it, which is careless and organized and not giving a shit and just getting fucked up on alcohol because the opposite of Virgo is Pisces and Pisces is spirits. Tuck you in at night. Can't find no one like me. Shame on me. You know, it's spirits like drinking and it's also the spiritual realm. So, so choosing to take action in your higher self and goals rather than choosing to feel like escaping and drowning in your emotions. So let your emotions and that energy drive you forward to take action in nurturing and caring for yourself. Water your own garden with all that watery Pisces energy. Finding the balance between self and connecting with the ebb and flow of life and having compassion and empathy and mindfulness of other as well as yourself. We can't forget about ourselves. And with all these changes, yes, I know it's hard, especially if you went through a breakup or you got fired from your job. Everything happens for a reason. It's trying to show and teach you something. So with that energy, like an actress would for a character is use this anger or use this sadness or use this frustration and pain as a fuel to reach your best self. Use that energy to launch you forward. Okay, and with the sun conjunct Neptune, this could be a very sensitive time. So make sure to surround yourself with people that you trust and that are in good spirits. And it's a good time to kind of just be by yourself and set your intentions as well. Meditate on what your new year will look like. Maybe escape into a good movie or a good book after you write a list of to-dos to do better. A list of to-dos to do Neptune as well as Mercury and Venus. Jupiter is in a trine with them. There is some challenges with finding that drive to heal these egotistical, animalistic nature about ourselves. Okay, things that we were programmed to be unconsciously, like men are not men unless they're spreading their sperm and being with multiple women. Okay, that's one. Or you're just a woman if you're submissive and you cook and have children and just shut your fucking mouth. Okay, or girls play with Barbies, boys play with G.I. Joe's. Okay, so like this, this conscious as well as unconscious thing that the men, the, the men and the women as well as energetically the masculine and the feminine energies have been suppressed. So all these dynamics are shifting. We are healing 
from an old paradigm or way of seeing relationships with other, transmuting these old ties, delusions of ego, and being able to communicate our love and value for the other person. In that, we can heal each other and move into a more evolved species. Being honest, truthful, and having integrity in our emotional lives needs to evolve. We have got to love ourselves and love others just as much because we are all one. We are attracted to our same energy. We are reflections of our partners. And this is one reason why we get it so upset because we see the things that we don't like about ourselves in the other. And then we need to learn how to have compassion on those faults or those judgments upon ourselves and our partners and not to be so judgmental. When we are critical of other, we are not being kind and forgiving to ourselves. We need to understand that no one is perfect, that we are all flawed human beings just looking for unconditional love. The pot of gold is keeping our eye on the big picture for our future and doing the daily steps to get you to your destination. All right. And the last aspect I want to talk about, which has been nudging us for quite some time now, is the Uranus-Pluto square. It's finally wrapping up its intensity from when the energy started building back in 2013, 2012. And was super intense for most people in 2015. <laughs> but Uranus and Pluto have been dancing and challenging each Love. other with this uneasiness for a while now, but is working its last arguments and discomforts this year. Soon Uranus will be moving into Taurus and we will have a shift in our value systems and rebuild our education systems, government systems and structures after Pluto has been destroying them. I am so excited, and I can't wait to no, see you what should. Don't be so this nitpicky. new world will look like. Us millennials, we're 71 million. There's three sub-generations within <laughs> this one generation, and we're creating the new world. And... We need to stay strong and keep pushing out the old system and the old world because that is no longer working for us anymore. We're intellectual human beings. We have all the access of education at our fingertips through the internet that the old world didn't have. It took them so long to evolve and which is only taking us literally maybe seconds to evolve. Our children are so smart. They are so understanding and compassionate and knowledgeable about the world around them. And I am excited to help evolve the human species to where it needs to go for our children to have better lives than what lives that we've had. So that being said, enjoy the full moon in Virgo. We haven't had a full moon in quite a while. And just release all the old and start setting up and planning and making a list of the steps that you need to do to get to the goals in the life that you see for your future and the future of our children. I hope you liked my video. And if you liked it, please click like below and subscribe to my channel. And if this is your first time watching me, I'm so happy to have you and I hope you come back.
forward to more conversations with you guys. Oh yeah, and my email's below. If you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and shoot me an email or you can call me. And if you'd like to do any therapy or coaching, or if you'd like me to pull your Thank astrology you. chart, I'd rather not. <laughs> let me know. All right. I'm also nation based for those that are struggling financially. No thing and no one should get in the way of knowledge. Peace out guys. All right. Thank you for watching through the end of that. Um, I've been trying to upload the stupid video onto my YouTube since this morning. So I don't know if it's the internet or Mercury's about to go retrograde at the end of March. So maybe it's in shadow or gearing up for that. I don't know. Um, and Abby, thank you so much. I, I love your videos and, um, I just adore you. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you later. I'm going to try to upload it now. <laughs> Bye.